How's it going, guys? I'm gonna wait just a little bit to get started. Wait for a couple people to show up here. If you're watching this on YouTube right now, uh, I recommend you to go check me out on TikTok. I make coin rings live on there pretty often, and that's actually where this video is from. Uh, this is, I don't know, me talking to uh, future viewers while I'm making the live, so. Um, Check me out on TikTok, uh, coinringmaker.com. Uh, for everybody who's just filing in here, uh, what we're working on today is a 90% silver Tennessee quarter. We're going to be making this into a ring for one of my customers. What's up, what's up? Let's see, Let's see if we can get this to focus on this coin at all. Not really. Well, it's still in this little case. So we're going to pop that off here pretty soon. Welcome! Yeah, we're going to get started real soon, guys. If you uh, wouldn't mind, just tap on the screen. Uh, if you just joined in, I'm Coin Ring Maker. I make coins into rings. And on this live, we're going to be making this 90% silver Tennessee quarter into a ring for one of my customers. So I'm just going to get set up over here oh goodness i took down my uh, selfie stick contraption but yeah we'll get started here in just a second To get yourself a coin ring while you watch me work on this one I do have uh, a website link on my profile which you can find by tapping my logo and I'm just trying to get get this set up here uh, I jumped in a little early guys I'm sorry Should have set my camera up first, then got on live. But if you can bear with me just a little second, I promise it'll be better if I could get this set up properly. And I'll actually show you what I'm doing here once I'm finished. what we've got is a mic stand right for like podcasting or whatever and then we've got two clamps and we've got a selfie stick and that allows me to get views all over my work table and still use both of my hands so i had to fix that because i used those clamps for something else yesterday but we've got about 350 people in here so it's definitely <laughs> it just went out, man. You got to be a little patient. <laughs> like, if you go check out my videos, you can actually see me mailing it. Uh, I just posted a video of me mailing your, your ring out. It's on the way. He got a really nice uh, silver American Eagle. I love that ring. It's, it's probably the prettiest American Eagle I've made yet. It was hard to let go, but it is on the way. So, here is the coin we're going to be working on today. I'm going to go ahead and pop this out of here. This is a 90% silver quarter. Some of you guys have never seen a silver quarter before. They are very nice. These come in uh, special sets directly from the mint, so they're not like in circulation or anything. Except accidentally, sometimes grandkids get into collections and go buy like gum or something with silver quarters. It's a good way to piss off your grandpa. I'm not scratching it. I haven't even touched it yet. It's still sitting and it's, <laughs> it's still, it's still chilling. 
I'm looking for the right size punch. I need a half inch punch for this. Where did I put it? It looks like this. You guys see this? Something that looks like this around here anywhere? <laughs> oh, man. Least professional live yet. I hope you guys are enjoying this. <laughs> Usually I'm much more organized. Oh, jeez. Is that it? Yeah. It was actually where it was supposed to be. Just punch it. We'll get there. Got a bunch of silver dollars the other day. That's nice. There we go. All right. So we got to put a little guide in there. It's my half inch punch. Let me see if I missed any other comments. Summertime is the season for kids to be spending collection. Yep, it's always ice cream. They always spend them on like ice cream or gum. The dumbest stuff. It's really pretty coin. Getting a little bit of fingerprints on there, but that'll be okay. Because what I'm about to do it is much worse. I'm going to punch a hole right through it. I, I've never paid face value for silver coins. I don't, I don't even think I could honestly do that. Like, I would feel bad. But if you've gotten some, like, that's <laughs> props. I'm just going to set up my 12-ton press over here. This is a bit of overkill. Like, you don't really need a, a press this big to do this. It's just what I use for silver coins to get a cleaner punch. So this is it, this is my 12 ton press. We've got our punch lined up underneath here and we're just gonna pump that through. The punch is gonna fall out in there so I don't lose it in that box. Usually I have my hand underneath it, but I gotta hold the phone. There we go. center punch it's very clean looks good all right guys we're gonna take it nice and slow now <laughs> spilled some silver shavings looking for my punch so I probably should slow down while I clean this up, I'm going to take a second to plug my shop. Uh, if you want to check out some of the stuff I make, there's a gold chain at the bottom of the screen. It'll show you some of my products. And if you want to visit my website, there is a link for it in my profile. Um, the best thing you can do for the copper rings to keep your finger from turning green is get some clear fingernail polish and just paint the inside of it with that. Uh, periodically because it does rub off but uh, that's what I recommend that's what seems to work the best uh, if you'd like a custom order I have a new button on my profile it's really cool it says get a quote and you can just send me uh, like your ring size and the coin you want me to work on and I can get you a quote from there so I'm pretty excited about that little feature And there is our punched coin. I'm just gonna knock this off of here with a plastic hammer. Yeah, uh, if anybody has any questions, feel free to put them in the chat. I'm just kind of going through the motions. Uh, if you're not sure what's going on here, I've got a silver Tennessee quarter that I'm slowly turning into a ring one of my customers yeah this is from a proof set 
Uh, the best thing to do for ring sizes is actually visit a jewelry store and get sized there. Uh, should be free, should take about five minutes, and it's going to be accurate. So that way we don't have to resize your ring because uh, you like guessed or measured with a string or something. You can play in the backyard because that's the choices. Okay, okay, dude. I'm on live. Yeah, um, fraudulently altering currency is illegal, but you can make jewelry out of it. Uh, it's very similar to penny smashing machines you might find at an amusement park or a museum. So the inside edge here where we punch that center out is actually quite sharp. So I'm going to take this tool, this is called a deburring tool, and we're just going to clean up that inside edge. But I'm actually going to use this one instead. And this is just going to smooth that inside real nice. I'll flip it over and do the other side. If you guys wouldn't mind tapping the screen a little bit, if you're enjoying this live so far. It'd be cool. It'd be a cool thing to do. Pretty good to me. However, remove the outer band to make both inside and outside identical. Oh, I got a gift. Thank you very much. Remove the outer band. I'm not sure what you mean. Your kids have the same cycles. It works, man. Just made a ring out of an old Kentucky half dollar. That's cool. Alright, uh, what size range can you make quarters versus other types of coins? So quarters, I can do size 4 to 13. And 13's really pushing it. Like, I'd like to, to set it to like 12 or 12 and a half, but I have a lot of customers who want size 13. But that's really where I have to stop with the quarters. Uh, half dollars, I can go up to, I think, size 16, 18, something like that. And then, um, like, peace dollars and Morgan dollars. I can get them pretty big, along with uh, American Silver Eagles. The biggest one I've done of those is 18, which was pretty huge. Uh, I've done a size 15 half dollar pretty recently, which was decently sized. This is just going to soften up that silver so it's easier to bend and less brittle. It doesn't take a long time. It's a pretty thin coin. Dry that off. Sometimes you get this really nice goldish color when annealing the first time. So now we're going to start folding the ring. First tool we use for that is called a dome block. Thank you for the rose, by the way. I do appreciate it. So we want the Tennessee on the outside. I'll give you guys a look at the coin right now. So we'll put the Tennessee face down. Get a ball bearing. Now I really try and keep uh, as much 
like original detail on the coin as I can. Stickers I'm making. Yeah. I can send you a sticker. Absolutely. I uh, just sent you a follow. If you wouldn't mind just messaging me real quick and being like, hey, dude, you said you'd send me a sticker. Um, I'll totally I'll totally send one your way. But uh, stickers come with uh, every order. So whatever, whatever you get from like the smallest thing to the biggest thing, you'll get a sticker. Um, this is like my OG, like holographic sticker. I didn't get a whole lot of these because they're pretty expensive. But I do send these out. So this is what goes out with orders right now. And I really like these. Like the first few stickers I got didn't have any way to peel and open them. I have a lot of trouble with that. And these are like pre-cut. So they're really easy to pull that back off of. And it's, it's pretty good quality. I really like these. How much for a size 12 and a half, 1999? Uh, a copper clad one would be $20 uh, plus four for shipping. I don't have any 1999 in silver at the moment. That's the first year they started doing state quarters. And those sets are just more expensive than <laughs> the other silver state sets. So I haven't gotten it yet. It is on my list of things to get. But I do have them in uh, copper. So what you would want to do is just Google... 1999 quarters and it will show you the five different states that were made that year and just pick one of those and then go to the uh, pick my state quarter coinering listing and and do it like that so i don't have like a specific listing for 1999 because those are state quarters Go ahead and anneal this a little bit more. Is there any uh, platinum coins? You can get some from the mint. Uh, I don't have any personally. They're pretty expensive, but you can order some from the U.S. Mint. I think they have like a Mercury Dime one that came out recently. That looks pretty cool. Nice. Uh... Do you get the inner center punch for the customer as well? There's an option on the coin rink listing to add a center punch pin, which is like a hat you can put on your pin. Or, sorry, I got that backwards. It's like a pin you can put on your hat. So it's like one of these, and that'll have the center punch on it, or you can get it as a uh, keychain. Do you think I should just add an option where where it's just the center punch and not like something I make with it. Uh, if you'd like to send me your own coin, I do have a button on my profile. You can get there by tapping my logo up here. It says, get a quote. Uh, just tell me what type of coin it is. Uh, if you know what type of metal it's made of and your ring size, and I can get a quote for you. They are uh, making new coins all the time, yeah. So we're going to heat this up again. Because as you like bend and shape metal, it does something called work hardening. So we're going to heat it up and dip it in this water. And that would uh, kind of soften it up again. But I got to find my pliers. My work table's a mess. I need to clean this up after... I finished this live. What coin has the coolest outer rim details? Um, I mean, that's really subjective, I suppose. I can show you a couple rings. But if you if you tap the gold chain at the bottom of the screen here, it'll pull up a whole bunch of stuff that I've made. There's a lot of 
like really nice detailed pictures of my rings there. Um, but I'm, I make all different types of coins into rings. Big ones, small ones, really small ones. This one's a mercury dime right here. Uh, this is uh, Morgan. I really like it. They come out really good. But yeah, I make I make a bunch of different types. This one's a Susan B. Anthony back here. It's got stars all the way around it. Really nice. I like that one a bunch. Uh... When I first started on TikTok, I had a lot of coin collectors, like, freaking out on me. They were like, this is not cool, dude. You should, <laughs> you should stop. Uh, but over time, they've kind of grown to, to like my work. At least some of them. Which is pretty cool. And they've also taught me a bunch of stuff. Like, I've learned a lot from coin collectors here on TikTok. This blue paper towel here. It's just so we don't have metal on metal contact. Give me just a second. I'll be right back. So this is called a ring stretcher, and it's just going to help us stretch this ring out. I'm going to sand this cut edge a little bit, make sure it doesn't snap on me. This is going to be a size 10 and a half. We're going to get it to about an 11, maybe 11 and a half, and then reduce it down. And get it in the right shape, the right size. And uh, it's a little thank you for joining me here on TikTok and watching me work. You guys can use the coupon code WELCOME at coinringmaker.com. It's linked in my profile. And that will save you 10% off anything you decide to order. So you can order a bunch of stuff or just one little thing. And that coupon will work for everything. Uh, the coupon is WELCOME. And uh, sure would appreciate you guys checking out the store. Since this is silver, I'm going real slow with stretching this out. I'm trying to be really careful with it. And I'm actually going to, I'm going to re anneal it again. I actually have coin collectors sending people like to me now, which which is pretty funny. I haven't done anything incredibly rare, but like the level of what people think is rare varies. So like if I told you I made a ring out of a hundred year old coin, like you might freak out a little bit, but I did. And I've, I've got some stuff even older than that. Like, uh, 1890 but like coins like that you can actually get for less than what the new Morgan dollars are selling for at the mint right now because their prices are so jacked it's like $80 for a Morgan dollar from 2021 or 2022 it's outrageous when you can get you know, a hundred year old one for 40, 50 bucks. I don't know. 
where they get off charging that much. And then their pro their packaging has really gone downhill too. Like it's like we want you to pay higher premiums, but we don't want to give you a very nice presentation. I don't know. They've really let me down. But I like their older stuff, honestly. I really like like uh, Olympic Games commemorative dollars. Those sets are awesome. The presentation's really nice. You can get them relatively cheap because collectors aren't super interested in them. They're pretty cool. So we got this uh, about a size 12, so I overstretched it a little bit. That's okay. Have I tried to inlay gold in my rings? No, I haven't done any inlay work. Uh, I have tried to do a little bit of engraving. That's really tough. And I also have some equipment that I'm working with to uh, set stone. I put stones in the rings, but I still need more practice on that. Jordan making is actually a pretty difficult thing to learn. I'm not going to lie to you. It takes a lot of... It's like 200 hours of practice before you can get something to look maybe good. Like, it's It's crazy. But if you do it enough, like you can, you can make some really neat stuff. What's really weird is like, I can look at someone else's coin ring now and like, I can see the steps they took to make it. Does that make sense? Like I can see the process in the end result. Like I can tell what tools they used. It's, it's, it's really weird. It's kind of neat. It's coming along nicely. And they want ten and a half, or really close to the right size. Maybe beaded crystal and jewelry with sterling silver. So you know what I'm talking about. Like this stuff doesn't come easy. Like it's not. No one's a natural. <laughs> If you're good at this, you, you've spent time trying to get good at it. Really close. It's like half a size. This is my favorite part. So because we annealed this, it's got this stuff called fire scale on it. It's real dark, kind of dingy looking, not very pretty. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take some really fine steel wool and just knock that off of there and bring the shine back to the silver. When you stretch, does it lessen the details? Uh, that's why I use uh, this. This is blue uh, shop paper towel. It's in like the automotive section in Walmart. And that actually helps keep detail really nicely on the inside. It's a quarter dollar there. And before I started using that, it would kind of mash up the details. But that, that helps a lot. <laughs> Oh, yeah. See, for me, it's literally money when I mess up. So, I, I feel that. <laughs> money is a, is a pretty interesting medium to work on. Lots of different designs out there for coins and stuff. So, I'm working on the inside right now. You can see all that. The higher raised detail got buffed up, but there's still a bit of darker fire scale on the lower parts. And then we'll start buffing it off this outside here. I'll give you a little before. This is my favorite, just getting that silver shine back. Yeah. 
Yikes. Hey, at least you can uh, you can melt it down, right? You can <laughs> you can recycle it, maybe. I know there's places you can mail it to, and they'll give you like melt value for it. I I hang on to most of my scrap. This is all like ninety per ninety percent silver, and this one is ninety nine. Point nine silver. Cool color difference. I got like copper shavings and stuff too. I plan on being able to melt down like in a forge maybe in a year or so. So until then I'll just uh, hang on to it. Absolutely. Yeah, failure is a good teacher. along really nicely. Good. Polishing cloth. So shiny. I love silver. It's so pretty. Like I started working on copper clad coins. And I did maybe a couple hundred of them before I decided to start trying with silver. I was really scared. But now it's, I mean, it's its one of my favorite materials to work on. I really like silver. Makes some great rings. And I'm going to do a little bit more polishing on this, but I'll come over here and see if we can get a nice look at it. Thank you very much. Yeah, I think this came out really good. But, I'm all done, so I'm going to hop off of here. Y'all have a great night. Uh, feel free to check out the website. Use the coupon code WELCOME to save 10%. And uh, have a great day. Yeah, like I said, that blue um, shop paper towel really, really helps. Let me see if I can find a... Step one. So this is an older ring, and you can see how that detail's got really squished in there. So like you have to take care to keep the detail. Like it's not as easy as I make it look. Major difference. But yeah, uh, y'all. Give me a follow. Thanks for stopping by. Go check out my profile. Go check me out on YouTube. Sounds good, man. I, I'm, I'm happy to work on that for you. All right. I'm going to hop off here. Y'all have a good night.